Hey there, Joe Consumer. Here's a handy tip from all us game experts at IE. If a computer game is based on a movie, it's very likely that it will stink to high heaven. And just imagine the olfactory possibilities inherent in a no-brainer action film like Blown Away, starring Jeff Bridges and Tommy Lee Jones. Yes, thanks to MGM Interactive, Imagination Pilots, and IVI Publishing, you too can have the experience of trying to outthink a twisted homicidal maniac. Quick! Quick! Solve this number puzzle or be blown to smithereenies! Hurry! He's insane and he wants you to play Simon with him or you and everybody you love will be evenly spread over a half mile radius. There's really no need to discuss the plot much here, is there? Did you say plot? You're being stalked by a crazy Irishman who's already blown you up once and is eager to do so again. And if you're not handy to blow up, he'll blow up your family and friends. I bet your friends would blow up real good. Why doesn't it surprise me that neither of the film's original stars could be bothered to participate in this project? Now you're misdirecting your anger. The problem is that this game is not the absence of Tommy Lee Jones. The long-haired Irish psycho is actually played pretty well by Jimmy Skaggs. And while the video is a little pixelated, it is full screen after all. Okay, you're right. It wasn't the video that was bad. It was the choice of games. There you go. The basic style of product has already been done much better by Hodge and Podge. That one has 19 different completely replayable games. And this one has 24, so it should be much better, right? Wrong. The fact is that 13 of those 24 games are one solution wonders. Once you solve them, they're solved. And one of them is an old magic trick that I learned when I was in fifth grade. I guess you're supposed to be amazed that Justice the Maniac can correctly choose your card. Whee! Talk about filling space. This leaves you with 10 games you might actually want to return to after solving them once. But don't count on it. Most of them are pretty lame. For example, the object of this game is to find the tile in the cabinet that matches where the light is blinking on the map. If you can pull and look at 27 tiles in under 2 minutes, you'll win. This isn't a game. This is a mouse clicking race. And not much of one at that. There is also a huge range of difficulty on these things, from childishly simple to painfully difficult. They don't progress in any particular order, and if they did, you wouldn't gain any advantage from puzzle to puzzle, because they're all completely different. So, some puzzles are insulting, and some are nearly impossible. Yeah, that's my kind of game. The game concept itself seems a bit flawed. A game based on an action movie should be more, well, action-oriented. With all the sarcastic cracks and threats from Senior Psycho, the overall tone of Blown Away is not unlike being forced at gunpoint to play Scrabble with a strung-out Dennis Leary. That's not a pretty picture. 